Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. It is Thursday, the 7th of April. Unusual for me to be doing a video on a Thursday, but there is a reason. The 7th of April is our little puppy dog Saxon's first birthday. Yay! Happy birthday to our puppy. And the reason I um, thought I'd do a video is I'd share um, with you the project I made for his birthday. Now, I started it around November last year, and it came about because I had felt it a tea cosy and was talking to Reeves about it and looking at my wool in my yarn collection. And I was saying to him, I have all this little bits of wool that I've over dyed and not really enough to do anything with. And he made this suggestion, which I thought was great at the time. So, since November, I have been knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting. Um, I think I cast on 240 stitches and did some garter stitch and then did some stocking stitch forever. Towards the end, before I cast it off, it was super heavy. Most nights, I could barely manage one row towards the end. I'd have to put it down. My arms and my hands would ache. I have a few photos of it when I cast it off and what it looks like now. So here goes. I felted it. I am a little disappointed with it, but I'll explain why. Are you ready? Ta-da! Here is Saxon's bed mat. Ta-da! It's all felted. Now, I made this... In the lounge room, we have a little area where he can come and join us and watch TV if we let him. And there's a little like mattress there, dog mattress. And often I just put a lightweight blanket on it. But with it getting cooler, it needs something a little heavier. So I made him a felted mat to go on top of it. And believe it or not, my judgment is not too far off. It's almost a perfect fit. And I'm really pleased the, the yarns I over dyed with food coloring, none of them ran, ran into each other. I expected a big mess of color. Now, why am I disappointed? Can you see what's going on there? This didn't felt. It is pure wool, or so I was led to believe. It didn't felt, and I did it twice. It had two four hours in 60 celsius hot water being felted and it wouldn't felt now i do remember where this yarn came from i bought this yarn when i did a yarn order with a company that had this natural pure wool hanks on sale that you could hand dye yourself and i bought a couple the reason i really remember it is because i was disappointed when i dyed it i was learning and it was supposed to be more creamy and flecky and I got carried away and it turned out lavendery and flecky and I didn't like it. So yes, and I've even checked back through my emails at the invoice. It still says pure wool. For it to do that and not felt properly, there has to be acrylic in it. Which is really disappointing because this part's really great and this part's really great but this one panel that I've knitted in there is buckling and not felting. Anyway, it's for the dog and I don't think he'll be that fussy. He's not going to say, I'm not laying on that, it's not perfect. He'll enjoy it and it'll be nice and comfy and a bit warmer for the cooler months. So yes, they were all my hand dyed experiments of um, me dyeing with food colouring and I'm quite pleased with the way it felted. I actually quite enjoy felting and seeing how it turns out now like I said I did a couple of rows of garter stitch and stocking stitch and I made the edges garter stitch now if you've got any tips on how to do felting or what to knit or the way to knit for felting please leave them in the comments below because I'd like to do more and as you can see where I have garter stitch the edges or the cast off it's thick and curling, especially this side for some reason. It's really curling. And I'd like to know why that happens. So, yeah, if you an experienced felter or knitter can tell me why that's happened when I felted it, that'd be great because that's something I will have learnt along the way. Now, 
I think Saxon, before he came, I made a, the bag a day. Well, it's actually her cat bed for Steve, but I made a little bed for Saxon, which he pretty much outgrew around four to five months. I think he was still trying to lay on it at six months, but more of him was off it than on it. And it served its purpose really well. I actually had a friend who wanted it when he outgrew it for their small little dog. They loved it. So yes, you can find lots of pet beds and things in tutorials to make for your little pets. Saxon this morning went to the beach with Thing, as per usual. And when he gets home, he's usually a little hungry and I made him a birthday breakfast. And tonight he's got a little meatloaf birthday cake for dinner. Is he spoiled? Maybe. Um, I did get home from work today and say the Thing, did his brain arrive in the mail? He is so unlike Baxter. He is just full on energy, sometimes totally brainless, the things he does. And yes, hopefully he will start to mature and settle his brain down a bit. But he is still a lot of fun and very cute. So stay and watch the video to the end, folks. There are a few photos. Some of my felting project, how big it was when it came off the needles and the size it finished up. You'd be amazed at how much it shrinks up. Photos of Saxon um, from when he was first arrived at eight weeks to what he looks like now. Um, he went to the beauty parlor today too. So he's had a clip since this morning. He's a little tired today. I think we may have overdone it. Anyway, you guys, take care. Stay safe. And remember, you can have a crafty day felting with me. Bye for now.